guys welcome back to a new video so today we're going to be trying out the new huda beauty power bullet lipsticks she's come out with new shades and we're just going to swatch them today you guys loved when i did the initial swatch video on her like the original shades the formula if you guys don't already know this is bomb.com okay it's so beautiful so i just thought i'd let you know before we jump into the video, I'm going to do my post notification shout out and today's one's going to go to Candice Mohammed. so thank you so much for your sweet comment. If you guys want to get one next time, all you have to do is subscribe, press the bell button and then let me know in the comments below when you've done so or you can just leave a nice comment. Right, so I have all the shades in front of me, I'm going to go from the lightest ones to the darkest ones um, and for some of the shades I might use a lip liner so that they kind of look, they kind of suit me because there's no point in me using the pale shades without a lip liner because I won't do that anyways in real life, you know, when I go out. So yeah, I'm going to do that. Right, so the first shade we're going to use is Staycation, which is a beautiful, like, I would say cool tone nude. Um, very light, but we're going to try this one on. I've already put lip liner. This is my, I've used my Primark Toffee lip liner, which I'm not sure you can get anymore. A lot of you said you can't find it. I couldn't find it in my local one. So I guess they've discontinued it, but it's really good. But something similar is Matte Cork. LA Girl, I think it's brown. I'm still waiting for Huda Beauty lip contours to come out with a shade that's similar to that. I sometimes use Spice Girl, but it's very like cool tone, whilst this is more of like a warm brown. Brown? Brown? This is super pigmented, super pale. I mean, I don't know if I wear, I would go this pale on my lips, even with a lip liner. Ooh, that's not bad actually. I mean, it is quite light still. Do bear in mind that it is a bit cool toned, I would say. But with a lip liner, it's actually really nice. Onto the next shade, we have Anniversary, which is, I guess, a little bit darker. Maybe a bit warmer, I don't know. Not warmer, but it does have a bit more pink in it. And I've also, I've, I have put a bit of lip liner and I'm just going to fix that. So yeah, this is anniversary with some lip liner, of course. Next shade is Rendezvous and this shade is really nice. I have, I have tried it already in a tutorial. And to be honest, I do put a little bit of lip liner. I'm using the Rimmel Exaggerate Lip Liner in Under Your Spell or Under My Spell. Under My Spell. So yeah, this is Rendezvous. I've literally gone through like five battery packs a day two SD cards, it's crazy, but anyways, let, let's go on to the next shade, the next one is Honeymoon, this is kind of like, I don't know, like a pretty pink shade, I would say, I'm just going to add a bit of lip liner for this one as well, I mean, I wouldn't say this one is my favourite, but this is what Honeymoon looks like. Alright, so we're going to go on to the more darker, not darker, but more fluorescent shades. So the first one is Spring Break, which is like, literally, I feel like it's a fluorescent. I don't know how to describe this colour, but let's see how this looks. I'm not gonna lie, this one definitely feels a bit different, like in terms of formula. It's not like the other shades, it's weird. And also, it doesn't really cover like the pigmentation parts of my lips. Like, I don't know, the formula of this one is definitely different. 
more sheer but nevertheless it's still quite pigmented this is a nice shade i think my mom would like this color right so the next shade we have is bachelorette which is i feel like a true fuchsia color see this one is more the formula whilst the other one felt a bit more slippery This shade definitely tugs a bit more, um, it's more of that matte formula whilst uh, Spring Break was definitely more slippery, um, a bit more sheer. Uh, the pigmentation of this is insane, um, definitely a shade that my mum loves to wear so I think this will be going to her. Um, but yeah, if you like a nice matte fuchsia, I feel like I need to do a tutorial with this. This is stunning. Right, so the next shade we have is El Cinco de Mayo. This is like a beautiful true blue tone red. I feel like mine's a little bit broken. <laughs> Anyways, let's try this. Oh my god. See, this one feels a bit more sheer as well. Like spring break. Right, so this is what this red looks like. I feel like I can still see a little bit of my pigmentation, but yeah, this is what this red is. I'm not a huge fan of it. So the last shade is called Promotion Day. Alright guys, so this is the final shade, which is promotion day. Not too sure if I would wear this on a promotion day, unless it's in like some type of makeup company. I don't see this, obviously you guys know I work in like a bank and I don't see myself wearing this to work. Um, but it is a very nice shade. It definitely has more of that uh, slippery sheer formula as well. Um, like the lighter shades definitely have that more grippy matte texture, whilst this, it still looks matte, but it's a bit more of a creamy matte. Don't, don't get me wrong, they're all buttery, they're really smooth, but these ones are glided on a bit more smoother and they're, they've got a bit more of a shine to it, that's what I would say. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and enjoyed seeing all the colours. I know a lot of you find it helpful um, and for me as well, like I love watching other people, especially around my skin tone, try out some of the shades. Give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next one. Bye!